Alrighty guys, uh, this is another uh, video tutorial for the add-on SKC that I made. Um, this one is specific to the master looter, so it'll describe the master looter's interface now, um, what, what extra controls they have, and basically how boring the, the master looter's job is. So the kind of point of this add-on was to minimize the effort uh, from the master looter and to kind of automate as much of this as possible. So there's not a whole lot to do as master looter. Um, it's pretty straightforward now. So um, let's start off with just the help. Um, you'll see that there's some new slash commands available for the master looter only. Um, this pops up when you are the master looter in a raid. So you'll see there's three things related to the bench, the B is. You can add or move or clear the bench. And these things uh, we'll talk about in a second. So the bench stuff, um, you do SKCB. Anyone can do that. You can just see what who's on the bench. The bench is the way for uh, the master looter to control who's on the live list. Um, you can add people on the bench who are not in the raid normally, or who are not currently in the raid. So it's a way to kind of give credit uh, to people who are, you know, maybe uh, didn't quite make it into the, the the raid but are still online or whatever your guild policy is there. Um, and, and but this works because the the way the live list works is when you SK within a raid, the the characters only move within the live list. So, um, you know, in this case, it's like Fresnick is one and Pascal is 27. Um, so, uh, they would, um, like, if there was, if Fresnick SK, they would just switch places and kind of jump over all these people who are not on the live list. All right. Okay. So, that's how you, uh, what the bench is. Um, the master looter can add a player to the live, live list with the add uh, command. So let's say you wanted to add Pythagorean. That's pretty straightforward. He adds him to the bench. And you'll see him in the live list now. Right? Um, likewise, can remove. And now Pythagorean's not in the, the oh, not in the bench. So that's pretty straightforward. You could clear it. Uh, the other command that he can, the master looter can do, is this enable disable. This is like a final uh, manual override for the add-on. We talked in the first video about just like general usage um, and how you get to this active status. Uh, the, uh, the master looter has the option to just straight up disable that. So it just goes to disabled, and which means that loot won't be distributed with the, the add-on anymore. So for whatever reason, he just wants to turn it off, that, that's an option. And then we'll talk about the export log at the end when, uh, when there's some data to, to show. So uh, the add-on works by using the um, the master loader interface to distribute uh, an item. So as soon as you right click the, the item, which opens normally the master loader interface, it's going to kick off the add-on. It's going to look at the loot prio, figure out who's eligible for this thing. Uh, it'll query them for a decision, uh, depending on, again, how the loot prio is, is, sync is uh, configured. Um, people will make their selections. The master loader will receive some, some messages here about what, what people are choosing. You know what options they're choosing, uh, and then it'll once ever, once everyone responds or time runs out, uh, it'll determine who wins and it'll distribute that loot. Um, so the, I should note that there is a possibility for a little bit of delay here um, because uh, based on this synchronization, for a lot of uh, a lot of reasons, there's kind of like some some message throttling that has to happen behind the scenes. So messages take a little, sometimes time to to send. And uh, in order to execute the, the loot distribution uh, you know, algorithms, the all data needs to be synchronized. So if you're in the process of pushing, there might be a delay. The, the add-on will automatically wait until um, synchronization is done. So like if we right-clicked while we were still reading, for example, it would say, OK, hold on a little bit. And um, eventually, it would start, uh, like the loot GUI would pop up once, once all the data was synced up. Uh, but you don't have to worry about that. Just it's a reason why there might be a delay. So let's uh, let's start it off. Let's see how how it looks. I'll right click here, and boom, you get the the loot GUI. Um, this doesn't have to be open. You could, you know, whoever's eligible is going to see this. Uh, in this case, it's just me here, so um, I'm just going to click main SK uh, because I was the only one to SK um, and the only one that chose anything. It didn't didn't matter. You know, I was on the bottom of the the loot, so uh, this character Pascal won the item. Everyone will see this message. Everyone who is eligible will see this message that Pascal won. 
uh, through a main SK and show what the position change was. In this case, not too interesting. I was already at the bottom. So um, let's say, well, let's kill this real quick so it doesn't kill me. So let's say that uh, someone misclicked. They they actually wanted the item and they accidentally passed or whatever. they changed their mind. So the master looter does have a little bit more power now to manually edit the SK list. So if we click on one of the, the names now, you'll see these buttons are activated, which is how the master looter and the guild leader also has access to this, but now the master looter does too. Uh, he can edit the, the SK list. So he can, uh, like, let's say that, I don't know, uh, we, uh, for whatever reason, Pascal didn't want this, but um, we want to revert his, his position to some previous state. I don't know. We could um, find Pascal, select him, I'm going to have selected Pascal, and we could set SK. So here it's telling me to click the desired position. So I'll click the number one and put Pascal up to one. Uh, you'll see it pushing, right? It's immediately pushing this new SK state out to the, the rest of the guild. Um, I can single SK people, could uh, full SK them, which drops them all the way to the bottom. Um, set so I get that guy there. You can, you can edit the list however, uh, however you need to to correct correct for things that, uh, that, that, that you know went wrong or people changed their minds. Um, so importantly now you can always see the log for the most recent raid as the master looter to so export log and you'll see every SK edit and loot distribution that has happened during the raid. So this is a CSV you can go paste into a Google sheet to maybe make it a little bit more readable but basically there's a timestamp there's you know what what action happened the first thing that happened here was um, Pascal winning this Mystic's Cape through a main SK. Shows the change in SK position. If there was a roll, it would show the roll. Um, it uh, shows the prio, which we went over in a different video, what that person's prio was. So this is a way to just you know make sure everything's working the way you expect. Uh, it also keeps track of all those manual edits, so you'll always be able to see you know what what happened there. Um, so yeah, I recommend you know copying this out after each raid and saving it in some some place where everyone can see exactly uh, what what the add-on did. Uh, so I think that's it for master looter stuff. Uh, there's going to be one more video for guild leader where you'll see the similar stuff, but everything the guild leader can do, which is a lot about like configuring the tool for the first time. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks a bunch.